construct the mid-segment of a triangle with a compass. This is 5.4b. We have seven previous videos for Chapter 5 that are in the Geometry Playlist. So, we learned in the last video, a mid-segment of a triangle joins the midpoints of two sides of the triangle. This side and this side, see? And every triangle has three mid-segments. We've got one going this way, this way, and this way, and they're parallel to a side, aren't they? Constructing the mid-segment of a triangle, the first thing we do is draw a large triangle and label the vertices A, B, and C. Then we construct the midpoints of segment AB and segment BC. So if you remember how to do that, we take our trusty compass, we put it on A, we make an arc, we keep it the same measure, and we put an arc with the point on B, and we draw a line from the intersection of the arc to the intersection of the arc, and where it meets on AB is the midpoint. We do the same thing for BC. We can open it a little bit more, make a big arc, put it on C, make a big arc, draw a line where the two arcs intersect and where it hits BC is the midpoint. Okay? And we can label those X and Y respectively in that order. Now all we have to do is draw the mid-segment -seg XY. We draw a line from X to Y. And segment XY is half of AC. And segment XY is parallel to AC. And we can use a protractor to prove that segment XY is parallel to segment AC. We can prove two corresponding angles are congruent. We can prove same side interior angles are supplementary. And we can prove two alternate interior angles are congruent. Just measure them with our protractor, okay? Our next lesson is solving compound inequalities. It's going to be a bit of a review for what we learned in Algebra 1 because we're going to need this for the next lesson after that. Okay, so we have to remember our inequalities. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you're doing well. Hit that like button for me and have a great day. Bye.